these. You got it for the next few seconds here. <laughs> Man, we have the bell. All three just staring each other down a sec. Like I said, been battling this ever since Wrestle Series 10. Still have not get, gotten rid of it. It is Marcy Schaefer, Ronnie Patel, collar elbow tie up into a wrist lock right there from Marcy. Torquing on the arm of Ronnie Patel. Look at this arm drag takeover and into an arm bar. Marcy looking pretty good right out of the gate here. How does how does our chairman feel that Matt Asadar is not worthy of a title shot? The guy is that really good, every, isn't it? I've stopped, that's that boggles my mind. Not to take away from this match that's in the ring right now, but oh, I don't know what the hell Stewart's thinking. Nice hammer lock right there from Ronnie Patel. Marcy trying to fight out of it. And now Marcy Schaefer showing some athleticism here. Nice reversal there. Takes the wrist lock and just flips Ronnie Patel right onto her back. And now Kitty is just keeping an eye. Oh, look at this. Kitty, Kitty from behind with a bicycle kick. And taking Marcy right in. off. We talk, we've, we've talked about having eyes in the back of your head here. Look at that spear right there from Ms. Bollywood. And there's a pickup. There's a whip into the corner. Kitty hits those turnbuckles. Here comes Ronnie Patel charging right in there with a big splash. And it connects. Monkey flip out of the corner. Ronnie Patel is turning it on here in this triple threat match. Here she comes once again. That was one hell of a start. Flip right there. She came so close to becoming the women's champion one week ago at Frostbite. It wasn't wasn't to be though because of that that um, crazy glue. We already explained what exactly happened in that match. It's weird it's how, how that happened. Yeah, it was it was pretty strange. Uh, Ronnie went to get the glue. She glued the brace of Maxine so she couldn't move the leg. Look at that right there. She glued the, the the leg brace of Maxine so Maxine couldn't move the leg. So that forced Maxine to try to remove the leg brace. But unfortunately, she grabbed it where all the glue was, and she kind of stuck the brace to her hand. And then when she went to pound the daylights out of Ronnie Patel's face, of course, the leg brace was right there. Earl thought he was hitting her. She was hitting her with the leg brace, of course, calling for the disqualification. Look at Marcy Schaefer going up top here, trying to take advantage of this situation with Ronnie Patel and Kitty Lovencraft down on the mat. What is Marcy going to do here? Look at this big flying splash right there. Connects on Ronnie Patel. But look at Kitty flying right in there with that basement drop kick. Breaking up the would-be pin attempt there from Marcy Schaefer. Triple threat match. Got to have eyes in the back of your head. You certainly do. And there are no alliances here either. None that last for longer than 10 seconds, at least. <laughs> you got that right. Now, if this were elimination, you might see a little bit of a temporary alliance, but that's not the case here in this match. There's a whip into the corner once again. It's Ronnie Patel hitting the corner this time. Here comes Kitty with the charge in. What does she have in store for Ronnie Patel? Oh, here it goes. Move into the music. We've seen this from Kitty Lovencraft. A very potent combination right there. A flurry of fists and kicks. Moving to the music is Kitty Lovencraft. Now it looks like she's heading cross country. Ronnie Patel is down on one knee. Marcy Schaefer is kind of staggering out of the corner. Well, she heads Kitty off at the pass with a huge drop kick that puts Kitty right down on the mat. Look at the height on that. Almost effortless for Sass right there. Great kick. I tell you what, she has come a long way in the little bit, maybe a year, perhaps maybe a little bit longer than a year that she has been in this sport. Now cinching in a front face lock on Ronnie Patel. 
going right to that front face lock. That's an excellent wear you down type of maneuver that anybody is well served to have in their arsenal. Triple threat action here tonight. It is Marcy Schaefer. It is Ronnie Patel. It is Kitty Levencraft. We're here tonight on Friday Night Edge. Still with that front face lock. Since right in there, dragging Ronnie Patel to the center of the ring. Look how, at that kick how about right that there. Big roundhouse kick right there. That is one of the signatures of Marcy Sass Schaefer. She can go for a cover here. She might come away with a win. That was an excellent move right there from Marcy. Here she comes off the ropes with a big knee drop right to the right to the sternum of Ronnie Patel. Off the ropes once more. Marcy Schaefer turning it on in a big way here. Double axe handle. Right off the noggin, and Ronnie Patel may be busted open here. If that's the case, we didn't. Oh, oh my! Oh my God, she is busted open too. Look at Marcy Schaefer go here. She has turned into a complete house of fire. Big double knee diving knee right there. For Marcy Schaefer floors Ronnie Patel. I don't know where Marcy's getting this from, but she's going for a cover here. Count of one, count of two. Oh, I think we're going to see a lot there. more of this, Johnny. With oh the my Queen goodness! Of the arena coming up. Who would have expected Ronnie Patel to be in this position right now against the rookie Marcy Schaefer? But I tell you what, Ronnie Patel is losing a lot of blood here, and she's whipped right into the corner from Marcy. Marcy Schaefer charging right in there, but she runs right into that drop toe hold from Ronnie Patel, chin first, right on that middle turnbuckle. This can get dangerous for Ronnie if this goes on for too long. That blood oh, Ronnie is pouring Patel down is her forehead. A very dangerous competitor. There's no doubt about that. And she just caught Marcy Schaefer coming right in there with a drop toe hold. Look at this Cobra clutch right there for Ronnie Patel. Well, look now, though, Kitty's back up on her feet. Kitty Lovencraft back up on her feet. This isn't over yet. Huge Cobra Clutch slam right there. There's a spear right there for Ronnie Patel. Sidewalk slam onto the metal chick, Kitty Lovencraft. Ronnie Patel has been in some brutal matches in the past. Look at that big splash on both of them. Oh, my God. She, she just pinned both ladies at the same time? She sure did. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Ms. Bollywood, Ronnie Patel. And if you want to make sure you beat everybody, that's one way of going about it. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a shocking win right there from Ronnie Patel. She's in a bad way right now. She is busted wide open. Due to the efforts of Marcy Schaefer. And Ronnie's asking for a microphone. Well, we are about to hear from Ms. Bollywood, Ronnie Patel. She says, Namaste. Ronnie says, No, I don't want a bandage, and no, don't call medical. medical. Okay, now I'm ready to say what's on my mind. Look at my face. There's no amount of makeup that would cover this up. She is seriously busted open here. And no, this didn't just happen tonight. These wounds reopened tonight 
were originally caused by your champion. What kind of champion is so despicable that she would take off her leg brace and beat me in the face with it? No, no, not the kind I will be. I will be one you will all be proud of. I will give you all good karma. Yes, yes. Now, it is not only Matt Seen that is the cause of the mess that ended in me defeating your champion at Frostbite. There is this matter of this... Uh, I have a dumbass book, which, of a which is a little Hindi for you. She's reverting to her native language of Hindi. She's referring to our referee Earl Woodson here. Calling him a dumbass that got in the way of Maxine's head as she was heading for the ring post. I suppose it serves him right by getting knocked out, but then he didn't wake up and stop Maxine from doing what she did to me until the damage to my face was already done. And if the Aksham... Hindi for incompetent referee had not gotten knocked out in the first place, he'd be awake to see me make Matt Scene tap out to the Bengali lock, and I would be your new and wonderful and very, very, very beautiful new VWE Women's World Champion. Well, speaking of the VWE Women's World Champion, here she comes, the longest rating bombshell, Maxine. I mean, you want to talk about someone who's not short on words, I guarantee you, that's Maxine. smoking as somebody who would face the, who would study their opponents and as someone who's faced me as often as you have you should have figured that when my brace gummed up I was going to remove it so because you ignored everything you should have known I spent the night in the medical room getting the ripped flesh on my hands glued back down so I wouldn't lose any in rain time with me not being able to drop the brace, you grab my hands and start driving it into your face. So yeah, keep singing your little pity party and try to make it all someone else's fault. But because of your miscalculation, you cost yourself that match. You chose that trying to turn me into the monster was more important than your so-called faded path to be the women's world champion. Besides, honey, if you were so close to winning, why did you glue my brace and incidentally get it affixed to my hand? So... As I heard many times growing up and over the years here in the VWE, piss on you and the fucking horse you rode in on. Well, no mistaking that message right there. 
Oh, my goodness. He called her a... Well, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know what it translates to. Dirty plastic... Well, I'll just go ahead and say a dirty plastic whore. She just called Maxine a dirty plastic whore in Hindi. And that's those fighting words right there. Maxine, or Maxine's ready to go right now. And it looks like Ronnie Patel was going to take her up on it until thought better of it. Maxine going right to work with a flurry of roundhouse kicks. Oh, and look oh. at that. Ronnie Patel taking out the injured leg of Maxine. She went right straight for that knee. There's some more of that good karma we were talking about. Yeah. 